think they're getting quicker. Are they? We'll have to get the timer right. I last heard from my wife about 15 minutes ago and they just said uh, I'm bleeding so they're checking the baby so because I'm not there I can't ask any questions so I'm like what do you mean they're checking Today is Friday, it's the 22nd of May and Katek was due yesterday. Okay, so now it is Wednesday the 27th of May, six days later, and nada, niente, nothing. There is no baby. Um, well, there is, but it's still inside my wife. A whole week after due date. And where's the baby Baby's go? still in my tummy. Why? Because baby's chilling, baby's not trying to get out. Baby's comfortable. However, I went to go see my midwife. And she says, baby is basically ready, heads down. I had a sweep to get things going. Yay! How do you feel about that, darling? She could feel the baby's head. Yeah, I think it's nice <laughs> for you because you're, you're, you're quite unhappy about this baby still inside yes, situation. I am, but so, you know why? Everything hurts. My pubic bone, my tailbone when I get up, when I sit, like, I can't do anything. I can barely run. Look. She has something called lightning crotch. I, I didn't get that. Keep going. Thunder clunge. Sorry, the zoom's gone, yeah. Are you gonna get um, me? Tornado minge. Anyway, there's something going on where it's like, Ugh. Oh. Um, no, jokes aside. Everything's clicking. Um, so I think she's keen to, to get the baby out, actually, um, as soon as possible. So she put her hand in my JJ. And she said she could literally stretch to like three centimeters and like it's nice and soft and she's like all you need is contractions oh nice that's all i need and that's i also like can i do like just to speed up the process and she says i can go for a walk maybe have a curry um however she did say with the curry the downside about a curry is you might get like a super runny tummy which is not great with birth imagine vagina bum everything <laughs> Okay, cool guys, so I'm 41 weeks as you all know and darling got me some curry to get things going and earlier we went for a walk so hopefully this curry will work guys and for those of you who don't know, I cannot eat hot food so this will be interesting <laughs> Here's the curry, it's got a naan there's some rice in there as well Curry, curry. This is quite mild. Oh. Ooh. But something's coming. <sighs> Friday 29th, eight days overdue, no real great signs of anything happening. Apparently labor's about to begin at any time. And I feel so sorry for my poor wife. Goodness, I cannot believe this. Guys, I'm 41 weeks, one day today. Super tired, everything hurts, I'm exhausted. Your belly's as big as mine. Yeah. You're wearing my clothes. Exactly, nothing fits anymore. You're sleeping Don't, sometimes. I hardly, I hardly sleep. You're eating lots still though? 
Good to see. <laughs> you would know because you bring me everything. <laughs> Darling has just been feeding food, me. Food, food, food. Like literally, I woke up from a nap now. <clears throat> And darling brought me some ice cream and I was like, yeah. Because it's also really hot and uncomfortable. So imagine baking a beautiful baby and all the sunshine and this, yeah. Ooh, what do you want to say about Suri? <laughs> so what happens when mama has the baby? You, you carry on sleeping. Are you having a sister or a brother? Wow, is it's Mama boring? Huh? No, no, when, when, when the... Okay, so no major excitement. Morning. How did you sleep? Not great, I peed loads. Um, woke up with a bit of an uncomfortable neck. Darling, can you believe I'm 41 weeks, two days pregnant? I can't believe I'm still pregnant. Should we call it D plus nine? Oh. So today is D plus nine. I mean, it must be quite under there. Must be quite Check a lot that. going on. And the baby was so active last night, right? Uh -huh. It was trying to escape. I think it was. <laughs> I think it's breakfast time anyway. Yay, breakfast! I like to. Darling, you can't go from I'm pregnant and it's all over, and then I'm as soon as I mention food, you. you're like, a breakfast, breakfast, go, go, go. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Santa, Johnson like breakfast. breakfast? Would you like for breakfast? Maybe. Cherry, what did she say? She said yogurts and fruits. Okay, be right back. Can't wait, thanks darling. Um, so I'm now gonna put together a little bit of breakfast for her in bed. She might get up now, or she might be in bed for the next four hours. Not sure. <laughs> Yogurt, fruit, coffee. Uh, let's hope she likes it. Wow, look at that, Sana. <laughs> Darling. It's okay. Wow. Join, thank you. Yay. Thank you so much, darling. That's the biggest I've seen you pregnant. I know. I'm worried. Do you think I'll be able to push the baby on? Uh, <laughs> I mean, you might need a bit of surgery afterwards, but I'm sure it will come out. We are exercising today. Yay. What are we doing today? I'm stretching. Everything feels so sore. Do you want to help me? No, I'm not really. Oh. My goodness. Woo. weekend um usually on the weekend well before everything basically closed down um we used to go for walks we used to go to the mall because i'd find an excuse to buy something i don't need we would take sana to the playground or to a play center we'd go out for lunch um yeah there's just so much to do but because of everything happening right now we've had to kind of find ways to entertain ourselves at home. Wow, do you want to show mama? Oh wow, where did you find the mud? From there. Come show mama, let's go see. From over there. From over there. I'm overdue and over it. And to be honest, I'm really struggling today. Um, and I know it's normal to be overdue, but it's, sometimes it's just hard to um, take that into consideration when everything hurts when you're just so uncomfortable I mean I'm peeing so many times in the day my pubic bone hurts it's on fire my lower back or just walking or even just trying to play with Sana oh your hands are dirty okay that's fine my angel you can Wash, rub them together. 
I've got to say the hardest part of this lockdown has probably been not been involved. So as a father, you want to go to the scans, you want to go to the um, midwife appointments, you want to like be part of the conversation and like nothing. I mean, I've been to one scan, I think really early on. So that's been, that's been pretty difficult. Um, so I'm, I'm glad in a way now it's like kind of now going to happen and I can see my daughter, son, son, daughter, daughter, son. I'm not sure what I want, but anyway, as long as it's healthy, we're good.